Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Sean Hodgins and welcome back to my channel. So I just picked up a couple of these Game Boy Colors as a gift. They're so classic and awesome. And I also got some of the Pokemon games. But it turns out that in these old cartridges, there's a little battery that keeps the power for the save game. And after 15 or 20 years, they tend to be dead. Sometimes they're dead, sometimes they're alive. But if not, they might die soon and there's nothing worse than losing your save game. So it also turns out that it's actually really easy to replace the battery, and I thought you might be interested, so this is how you do it. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is if you find that your cartridge is losing save games or not keeping track of time, or even uh, you're just worried about it and you don't wanna lose your save game, once you disconnect the battery, you are actually going to lose your save progress unless you keep it powered somehow while you do this, but I'm not showing you how to do it that way. So on the back, there's a weird star-shaped screw. I'm not sure what the name of this one is called, but I think the bit to take it off is called a game bit. And you can buy them and they're really cheap, but I didn't have one. So I actually created one in a really simple way. If you take some plastic and you heat it up, in this case I used some of my 3D printer plastic, I heated it up with a lighter and got it hot enough that I could push it into the bit and then waited for it to cool. And once it's cool, it will actually create the perfect shape you need for the bit and you can unscrew it. So once you've unscrewed the cartridge, the front cover comes off just by sliding down and lifting off. And then here you'll find the battery. You first want to make sure that's actually the battery that's the issue. So if you take the battery and you connect it to a voltmeter, it will either be reading low voltage or zero. If it's reading around three volts, your battery's probably good, but there's also a date code on the battery. And uh, if you find that your battery's more than 10 years old and you're already at this point and have the parts, you might as well replace it because it's not worth the risk. So after you checked your battery, you found out it's bad, you need to turn on your soldering iron. And I like to use flux just to make things a lot simpler. So you apply a little bit of flux, you heat up the one side of the battery, lift it off, take the other side off. It's really simple. Two leads, couldn't be simpler. Then you're gonna get one of these new style batteries. These are three volt, they're not rechargeable. In this case, it's a CR2025. Uh, I believe some cartridges do have smaller versions of this, so you should open up your cartridge before you order them. I will post a link below where you can get this battery. You'll find that on these batteries, one side will be labeled. That's often the positive side, so you can see that there's a positive mark on there. So what I like to do is just solder one side, again, using some flux just to make everything clean. And you don't really need to actually add any extra solder. You can use the pre-existing solder that's on there. And you heat up one side again, heat up the other side, and you should be good to go. After you get your battery reconnected, then it's good to check that there is actually a voltage there, about three volts this time, because it's a new battery, and then you should be good to go. A lot of people skip this step, but I like to use some isopropanol to clean off the flux. The flux can be corrosive in some cases, so it's just good to make the board look professional and cleaned afterwards. It'll be a fresh cartridge at this point because it lost power. Once you save your first game, should be good for another 20 years. So there are a lot of people out there that will do this repair for you, but if you've got your hands on a soldering iron, you might as well do it yourself because it's a really simple process and there really isn't much you can do to damage the board. Anyways, everyone, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and uh, I'll try to bring you more cheap, quick fixes like this. Anyways, everyone, be good, have a good day.